where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. All right. Next stop, folks. I'm heading into another old can dump I was at a couple months ago. Just dug around in it for a short while. Got a couple interesting finds out of it. I'm gonna head back and today. As you can see, there's still snow on the ground. So I'm gonna see if I can get anything out of it anyways. See you there. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm here on site at this patch here now, folks. You can see how big it is now. Some of the snow is melted. It's quite a hump. Down around, stretches way down into here. What's this liquor bottle right here? Okay, it's just a screw top slick. Oh, that would have been nice. hole in it. A couple holes. Look how good that is though. Got some hope. Well I got a hole punched in here now folks. Starting to go. This here just come out. <laughs> Check it out. Fly blaster. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Anybody got an idea on the age of that? Kills flies and mosquitoes. All right, there's a broken mocha mag in there. Well, I've been here probably half an hour now, folks. I dug around all down in there. Didn't, nothing's coming out. Uh, so I come up into this other hole. This here just come out. It's busted, though. Would have been nice. Just pulled this lid up, little stoneware lid, and I see right in here, I got a cobalt blue Evening in Paris vial. Check it out. Nice find. So that's a good good one there. That almost made the day worthwhile. Yeah, beauty. So here's this evening in Paris perfume vial, folks. I found I this is the one I found here. It didn't have a lid on it. I put that lid on it. And this other one, you can see has the appropriate lid, and it would have had a tassel. Like a blue tassel attached to it there so it's a similar lid i put on there next best thing to the real thing i guess so that's what you're looking at nice find all right so i got like a bottle in the hole here folks i don't know how old it is but the base to it on the bottom from what i can see from here looks like it's quite old i want to see if i can get it out of there Oh, no, she's frozen in there real good. Let's see, maybe I can pick away here. Oh, I got you up. Okay, so it's just a slick bottle of some sort. It says made in canna on the base, but look how crude the bottom is. It's got the consumer glass mark on it, so... Yeah, all right, let's keep going. Well, I just noticed I scraped up this gin bottle, what's left to it. So that's kind of interesting. This blue one. See, I think I got another blue one right here. Oh, it broke. Oh, that would have been neat. Got a panel on it. Panel side blue, never seen one like that before. That would have been awesome. I got a, uh, looks like a knee high soda bottle in there if I can get it out without cutting myself up. Ah, oh, the top's nicked off it. Yeah, okay. There's a plastic Irving container. 
Sides busted out of it. Chainsaw, chainsaw oil maybe? Anyway, let's keep going. Okay folks, so just shortly after that uh, bottom to the case gin bottle, I just reefed up another bottle here. It looks like it's got some age to it. I haven't picked it up yet. I do see it's a cork top though. So let's pick that up. It's frozen to this other one. See it? Huh, I wonder, I wonder what it is. <laughs> it's frozen to it. I don't know if it's embossed or not. It's got a slight bluey hue to it. I'm going to set it here in the sun maybe and maybe we can have a look at it after it thaws out a bit. Alright, well there's a little tiny miniature amber one. Kind of cute. I got well, a broken juicer. This bottle here is ready to come out now. Okay, so it's just a big whiskey bottle or something. Looks old though, look at the bottom on it. It says 540. Cork still in it. Early machine made. I'll set that there. So there's definitely some older stuff in here. Maybe not a lot, but a couple things anyway. What the heck is that? It's plastic. Green though. Okay, green plastic. Thumbs up! <laughs> It's interesting jar. Oh no, the corner's busted out of it. That would have been nice. Oh well. Okay, this drinking glass come out, and I'd say that's probably Mowgli there, the jungle boy. About as broke. We got some Christmas lights. And then here, I seen something here, folks. Where was it? Right here. It's an ACL soda bottle. What is it? Oh, the top's nicked off it. Sussex. Frig. Hard to find a good bottle today. That's a neat little amber one. Okay, so another broken case gin come out. Big one that time. And this bottle here with a parcel label on it. Now it looks to me like it says 190 proof. And something about hospitals, physicians, and pharmacies. It's a federal law forbids bottle. You can see it up around the shoulder there. Wondering if it's pure alcohol, like rubbing alcohol or something. Anyways, that's way down in there in the corner of these rocks. So that it's looking like there's much older stuff way down in the bottom there, up against the rocks. It's going to be a while to dig that all out. I don't know if I'll get to it today or not. Well, finally, folks, persistence paid off. Right down in between these two rocks, I got a soda. Check it out. It's an Evangeline soda bottle. Woo! Art Deco. It's got the lady's head up here. And it looks mint. This is Evangeline on the base. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool beans. Oh. There it is. Let's get a picture. All right. Okay, folks. So here's this Art Deco style Evangeline soda bottle. I've seen a lot of Art Deco soda bottles, folks. I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen my share of them. And I'd have to say this is probably one of the best 
designs of all. And I love, always love digging one of these. Usually the lips chipped or the heels got a chip out of it or there's a crack or something in it. So it's always nice to get a good one. And this is a good one. Check it out. Evangeline Soda. Well, I'm in a real awkward position here, folks. So I thought I'd get you up while I scratch around a little bit anyways. Here's a bottle. Just fell out. Partial label. Oh, it was a Moosehead beer bottle. Wow. Can you imagine if the label had been on that? Would have been nice. Got another green one here, I see. Oh, it was another moose head. Guaranteed. See part of the red label on it. Hard digging down in between these rocks. There's a liquor bottle. The older stuff is right between these rocks. Whew. Well, folks, I'm still here. First time I was here, I said I figured the older stuff would be right at the bottom and right in the center of the pile, which has turned out pretty much to be the case. I think I got a type of poison bottle down here. Not a real old one, but just from what I can tell. Oh, I haven't even got you on. There you go. It's a green one. Oh, it's got a lid on it. Yep, one of those Airwick bottles. Wow. First time I dug one with the lid still on it. I got somebody interested in green bottles too, and this is a good one. Yeah, I've dug a few of these so far. Always fun to get these ones. Okay, I got a few finds to show in this quick clip here, folks. All from this dig, of course. Here's this Airwick bottle. And you can see the lid cleaned up a little bit. And it says Airwick Chlorophyll. And I left the wick and the wire and a little bit of the liquid all still in there. I had the lid off it. And oh boy, does that ever stink. <laughs> but anyways, there it is. And uh, that's going to be from the 1940s. Check it out. Great looking bottle. I've dug three of these so far in the past few years. Nice poison type bottle. Beautiful color too. Alright, there's that. Got this little Mickey bottle here. It's got a cork and seal style lid on it. You can check it out. This here would flip up and loosen this wire around here. And then the uh, lid would kind of plop up there. It's on a hinge. Then you push it back down and flip this back down and it'd tighten it back up again. Cork and seal style. And then we got this black label beer can. I didn't show that one being dug in the video, but you'll see it at the end of the video. I didn't soak it or anything. I just kind of brushed it up with a toothbrush. Cleaned up pretty good. Nice one. Okay, I'm going to get out here soon, folks. But uh, right in the hole at the moment, i got a corker down there. Looks like a big medicine style. Let's see if there's any embossing on it. It doesn't look to be. Huh, weird shape, though. It looks like it would have had embossing on it. Well, just pulled this out in pretty good condition well that's not really what I want to show you folks check it out yeah you don't want to be digging around in there with your bare hands I'll tell you that or even with gloves on that's a recipe for disaster right there you get a nasty nasty cut okay folks I'm gonna get out here for today here's a quick look at what I got not a whole lot Nice little green Mickey liquor bottle. That green 
Arrowwick poison bottle. It was black label beer can. I didn't show you that one. That's in real good shape. It's got that sort of top on it though, aluminum. Evangeline soda. Glad to get that one. The Evening in Paris cobalt blue perfume. This little mini amber one. And that one there, if you remember, that turned out to be a Raleigh bottle. A big sort of aqua blue colored one. Nice corker. There's what was stuck to it there. You can still see the imprint there, the Raleigh's <laughs> lettering, yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's that case gin bottle, base, one of them. There's a bigger one in here somewhere too. Well, all right, over and out folks. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment down below. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we 